Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of Akiyama Akira Plays 1.8.9 Hardcore Minecraft. This is the second episode that, and luckily the last that I have to do narration over. But already we've made ourselves an enchanting table and realized we can see the enchantments! We know what we're getting! Yeah, I was very confused by that when I saw them like, wait, I can see what enchantments I'm getting. Eventually I look over, I'm like, oh god, I need lapis. I don't have any lapis, I got rid of it all. But I am just kind of checking what enchantments I can get. Pretty sure I strip off my armor and see what enchantments it has. Oh, no, I guess I don't. Um, <laughs> realize I need lapis and that I can't enchant, and it's unfortunate. So I go ahead and pick up camp, have everything. At some point, I hope, hopefully I clear out my inventory. That's a yikes. That's too much stuff in there all at once, but, uh... Can you go around and explore some caves? Fight this creeper. Oh god. <laughs> I'm watching myself I'm like you're going to get that thing to blow up in your face. Luckily I actually did kill it, which is rare. On the rare occasion I have skill and I can take out a creeper before it explodes, but that's a very rare occasion. Most of the time I just block and it doesn't do anything to me, which honestly is a sadly good way to fight creepers. It's just don't actually worry about the fact that they explode, because you're just not going to take damage from them. Now, if this was like the ultra hardcore where you would not heal your damage from food, then there'd be a problem. Yes, in that case, there'd be a lot of super. You need to be super cautious about everything. Like that, I would have been down a half heart there and wouldn't have been able to heal it. But this is not that, so I could just heal with food, which means just blocking makes it really easy. I might have just barely avoided that sneeze. <laughs> I tried muting my mic last second. I couldn't actually get my finger to press it, which is unfortunate. But you can see some caves up there. Uh, not sure if I end up exploring all of them. I think I'd go down one direction and just continue on. But, um... Continue to go down this way, take out that water. I think I pick up that torch because I really don't need it there. Oh yeah, and I explore a giant, giant cave area here. And some random mobs, not really important. But, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I end up having a bunch of skeleton death, which is great. I, I do it, and I take a lot of damage doing it. And I realize that skeleton uh, shoot rates are incredibly high. Like, they, they can fire incredibly quickly. But, um, I guess whatever Y level we're at, there's quite a bit of lava, and it tends to be a lot of lava overhead. But, uh, since I have an enchantment table, i go ahead and mine this redstone, just so that I can have some experience for it. Whenever I do end up enchanting. And also, I think I pick up every emerald I see, except that one, apparently. Just, to, it's A, free experience, and B, it's like, why not? I do it more just because I can, and not because the emeralds are would necessarily be useful. Like, if I, you know, if, if I actually went and found some villagers and tried trading with them, they would be useful. But, uh, it would require me to go and do all of that. I drop down here very dangerously. That water somehow doesn't make any obsidian, but there's also some zombies here. One of them jumps in the lava like an idiot. And I just stand here. They can't actually hit me where I'm standing, but I can hit them, so I just slash at them. For some reason, I open up that inventory slot by putting that bow away. I guess I didn't want two bows on my hotbar or something. Would be the most likely explanation. But, uh, oh yeah, there's also two creepers there. That sca that scared me. I'm like, oh god. There's, you know, lava and... I, in fact, I think I had talked about it when I was predicting I'm like, I'm just waiting for, like, a creeper to show up and blast me into lava or something or a zombie to knock me into the lava. I was just expecting that to happen right there. And those creep... Two of those creepers showed up behind me and like, that's... Oh no. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> exactly what I predicted. Exactly what I didn't want. I'm continuing to explore this cave. There's a lot of like gravel 
around. I ended up meeting quite a few dead ends just from gravel. Like, oh well. Uh, do continue to mine this redstone. For some reason, the uh, video the video quality on my end, just looking at it as I'm narrating it, is not not amazing. Uh, <laughs> it's far more pixelated than it has any right to be, but oh well. I'm not even really dropping that many frames. Like, I'm looking at the game, and like, maybe it's just the game, but I feel like, I don't know. So I don't think I changed, I know I changed how audio was being recorded, which I fixed after this episode. But, um, I don't remember, I don't remember changing any of the video quality, graphics quality. So why, it, uh, maybe it's just the preview just looks like garbage and it's fine on your end. That's what I'm hoping for, because I really don't like the fact that it looks absolute garbo. <laughs> I'm getting like some caves, and finally I find some lapis there. I'm like, oh, good, the lapis, I need that. So I start mining it, and this is kind of where I, I set up a little bit of a base here. Just, I get the lapis, and I set up camp, realize my inventory is full, so I have to, I have to set up camp anyways through a chest or something. I just need to place something down and do something somehow. So my, my first thought is, so I'll just make a bunch of red, more redstone blocks. I don't know why I did this, because I immediately just throw it out, because I'm like, I don't even need these. Like the, yeah, see, I'm like, I, I don't even need the redstone. I'm just like, I don't want it. I do pick it back up, because I didn't like its placement, and I just, I, do I actually go and find lava? I do, I legitimately go and throw it in the lava. I didn't realize I did that, but okay, me. Realized I could have made some more blocks out of it, and I was like, huh, there's 56 there. That's more than the seven I had, but whatever. I'm gonna finish picking up the lapis. I'm like, I don't need this gravel, so I just place it next to the other gravel. Uh, I have the wood to make a chest, and honestly, I should make a chest, but I feel like I just don't. Even though I should. But I look through all my inventory and just try to organize it, set a bunch of stuff down. I do end up, I think, enchanting a little bit. Uh, I think I enchant, like, my pick and my sword. I think pick first because it's uh, efficiency two. I'm like, that's actually pretty good for a diamond pick. It's like, well enough. I think I look through my armor and don't really like any of the enchantments there. Yeah, it's a lot of the different variations of prot. Now that prot one is not actually that bad. Um... For the chest plate, there's just pot one in general is not that bad, but I think I just end up keeping my armor. I'm like, eh, I'll just enchant the diamond stuff. So maybe I do get sharpness on my sword first. Uh, I guess I do. I don't even use the sword though. N initially, I get efficiency two on my pick. I think I just keep the pick in the back there. Then I can do power one. I think I do that power one for some reason, even though it would have been cheaper to not. But and I, I keep doing the more expensive power ones because I just forget how enchanting works, I guess, because that's not how I should be doing it. And I do it there, too. So, you know, I have power two and then plus power one. I do make an anvil. I guess I combine them, maybe. I guess I do combine the bows. Um, I almost have enough to make t two anvils, which I find funny at the time. Yeah, so I guess I combine, combine the bows to make power two. Which is interesting. Um, if I wanted to, I, I think I did think about making another diamond sword out of those diamonds and getting like a sharp two sword, but I don't think I end up doing that. I mean, it's not really necessary unless you have just that the extra after making all the armor and tools and such, because that's honestly more important. It's just having, like, your... You want your diamond armor, probably more so. Like, even with... Like, you can have prot iron, which is okay, but diamond's just inherently better. Like... And then... Oh, God. Rip my earbud out of my ear. So, yeah, like, you could... And plus, you can... Once you do that, then you can just use the extra diamonds if you keep going for diamonds on other things. Like, you can max out a... If you really wanted, you could make enough swords to, and pickaxes to have, like, god swords and pickaxes, but you don't really need to do that, so... Instead of doing it, you could just not. 
instead make armor and work better it'd be more like you're trying to beat minecraft normally like the, the only difference is that this is hardcore so you have one life but otherwise it's the same so just playing it normally is like you're not going to normally try to go to the end with just iron armor you're going to normally try to get diamonds maybe max out the armor and and then be able to go and to the end and get all the the stuff to go to the end and find the stronghold and everything but that mm, tends to be people get more prepared to go and not just like eh it's fine i have the iron armors and a diamond sword let's go like even to the nether like just going to the nether to get like the blaze rods to get the eyes of ender like even that i'd prefer to have diamond armor and like mine just get all the diamonds and stuff for it first but um i run out of torches here so i have to go back down and collect some more so i do that um don't think I, I guess I have some coal on me, so I probably just set down my crafting table and make, uh, well, I guess I can make sticks in that crafting table, so I, yeah, and that's what I do. I make a few more torches, 40, yeah. And just start to head back up here and explore this way. If I recall correctly, there's a lot of cave and mobs here. Yeah, yeah, that's this area. There's a few Endermen there, too. I don't actually engage. I, I planned on it. Um, my first plan was just that. Um, hope that it would hit them a little bit. That hits them. It doesn't enrage them, either. If the Creeper wasn't dead, maybe, but... I do try to fight him. He keeps running away. So, like, I, I made my little poke hole um, to try to fight him. He just walks off. Uh, I think this is, yeah, this is that. So I'm gonna, so I go this way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and see that spider is a little bit more lava drip. So I see that spider, right? That one, in particular. I see it, and it's just eyes. Like, it, it's an invisible spider. And I, I talk about how I really don't like the fact that spiders are, can be invisible. and Or the, even the fact that that spider is invisible. Like, that should not be allowed. <laughs> Why is the spider invisible? Like, yeah, you can see its eyes, but why is it invisible? I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I realize I kind of had already gone this way a little bit. Uh, I just... There's another one of those areas where I started to explore and then just didn't. So I content decided to continue on exploring it. Take out that lava. Blaze a torch for replacement. You go know, through here, there's some more gravel area, and I just walk past it. There's left or right, so I, I tend to always pick left. And I see a tree. I look, and I see a tree. I'm wondering, what in oblivion is that tree, and why is it here? I see some torches around, it's like, it's clear I explored it. And I realized, that's the tree that I tried bone mealing, and it ended up not growing. Like, it ate all of my bone meal and wouldn't grow. And you see what it became, the giant tree that it became, I'm like, wow, I can't, like, that was hilarious, I was laughing so hard, and I really wish I had the audio for that, because I was laughing so much at how, and just had the tree there, like, I grew the tree, I looked down, I'm like, yeah, that's the tree I grew, I look at it, and it's just like, that's amazing, like, the, I mean, what, what's better than the tree that I had and tried to grow. It didn't grow, so I leave. I come back down, and it's just there. I'm just casually exploring some unseen cave, and suddenly there's just a tree. And I'm like, what happened? Why is there this mystical tree? And then you realize, oh, hey, that's the tree I tried growing, and it ate 45 of my bone meal until it finally grew on its own. Yeah, that, luckily, I was able to block. I, was, I wasn't able to block that, though. You know, creepers galore around here, but, um, yeah, I, I was like, wow, that's skill when I blocked the first creeper explosion. Come back here, and there's a lot of holes, very holy terrain. Uh, I go through, so yeah, I've pretty much explored a lot of it. Um, not a whole lot left there for me to actually do. A lot of it's already lit up and everything. So I go back from once I came, uh, explored the other side of that hole where the creeper had come from. 
to see that led back to a little bit of cave to the right, but I don't explore it. I end up, well, I end up running out of torches for one. So I have to go and make more torches. But for two, uh, I, I think I'd make more torches. I have like one coal. I hope I make more than like four torches. I have to at some point, right? And, yeah, another moment where, like, I could see the spider, and I'm not sure if you all w will be able to, but, um, go here. Oh, yeah, so a skeleton and a creeper, so I'm trying to fight them both. So that happens, like, huh, neat. But then another creeper, and I get thrown in the lava. And dive bombing creepers. They ended up being what killed me. I, I got very upset. Um, well, I, I wasn't even necessarily upset. It's just like, wow, this that's a way to go. Like, I, 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 I wasn't upset. It was just like, that's interesting. I just kind of found it funny. I just got launched into lava. And the creeper just dive on me. And, and away I went. But it, it was still good. It was still fun. I enjoyed it. Um, unfortunately, the end of the LP and an unfortunate end it is. But I rather quite enjoyed it. And, you know, can't respond and all that, so I had to delete the world. And that will be the end of Akiyama Akira Plays Hardcore Minecraft in 1.8.9. I'll see you all on whatever the next series I end up doing is. See you all then.